Hey, hey, welcome back to the Golden Circle Homestead. I'm Amanda, and today I have some new things to show you. So as you can see behind me, we've got our solar panels, and I don't know if you've noticed, but these are not our original solar panels. They're actually much, much larger. So we found these ones locally and they're huge so four of these so just like looking at this front row here would do what all of our other solar panels were doing so and they were like a fraction of the cost so they were like a kind of like a wholesale supplier um, or something of the sort but we ended up getting four from them and we thought that we could have those four plus ours, and then it would end up doubling what we were bringing in. But the problem was that for whatever reason, the wattage was different and it wasn't working together. So we got rid of the other ones and then um, we just got a bunch more of these panels. So now we're bringing in, I think more than double what we were um, with the four panels plus the other ones, but it should be, it should be even more because just four panels were the original so we doubled that and then we got three more and we're taking three back because they were different wattage um, so we have to replace those ones but we will end up like tripling what we were able to bring in before so that is one really exciting thing the other exciting thing is that right here is our lawnmower and we got a new starter for it so now that's up and running because if you've noticed like how grown up everything is to where i mean we're in pretty much the wilderness we've encountered snakes and other wildlife and so we need to make sure that this is a safe environment for us for our dogs for our kids for our whole family to be out here and right now it's just like snakes could be hiding anywhere and so having that will be super helpful um, to kind of give us a little bit more control of this space um, especially when it comes to what we're inviting into our like living area so this plant here is called felty germander or germander um, and I just saw it. I've seen a couple of these pop up on our property and I, they kind of look nifty. So I was like, what are you? I just looked it up and apparently these become like a really pretty yellow color. Um, they bloom and it's a Mediterranean plant, um, that is used in Iranian like medicine and cooking. So that's really interesting. So it does have medicinal properties. We did end up putting in this lovely garden um so we planted some things it's been a hot minute here um i've got some chocolate sunflowers growing here i transplanted all of the baby plants that were over in the bed here and i thought that they were all zucchini they all looked identical um but alas some of them are cucumber so unfortunately the cucumbers and the zucchinis are kind of mixed in together and I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that quite honestly. Um, I might let it go its course and just get the zucchini um, as it comes and then go from there. I would rather prioritize the cucumber quite honestly and I know that the cucumber is going to choke out the zucchinis. Um, this one is already doing that with the zucchini that's back there. But um, yeah, it's already producing. So we've got some little baby cucumbers actually on the vines and also um, this zucchini here is producing. And yeah, so let's continue walking in and I'll show you what we got going on. So we are planning on having some more trellises down, um, go down here and then putting in more raised beds. Hello, Julian. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to happen this season. It's not on the highest of the priority lists, um, but that is the long-term hope and dream for it. And I've got all of these tomato plants that they're not all going to stay here 
Um, if they start kind of choking each other out, I'm probably going to move these guys, but I'm just keeping an eye on them for now. Um, and then let's take a little walk see down here. I do have some that are producing fruits already and I just pruned them. So that's what this lovely pile is down here. Um, I snipped off all of the branches that are off the main stem and like I'm probably going to do that with like this one as they get bigger and that's helping with the airflow so that they don't get sickness um, and it's just also helping with the energy to move up and continue to push up with the stuff that is on the top here so um, you'll find that like when your plants are very young and they're producing flowers and are not ready to produce fruit yet um, you'll want to cut those flowers off so that the energy can go toward the plant growing up as opposed to producing fruit so early on so that's another reason as we want it to get taller so it can start producing fruit cutting off those those um like branches um those leaf stems will help with that but i've done that with all of these guys down here and then i'm not like gonna be hurt if they die but all of the stuff that i did take off that was more substantial um i kind of dropped in this bucket of water and we'll see if they grow some roots and what you can do is you can put the suckers in the roots and they will actually are in the water and they will start rooting and then you can plant them and you can get more tomato plants not that i need any more but um yeah just kind of trialing that out not in the perfect uh bucket and setup and everything like that but yeah here i also have a bunch of tomatoes and i put them here because originally they were these like little baby guys and they've done really well kind of growing up and it was just to give them more space and more room to grow and now they're at the stage where they need to get once again pulled up and spaced out so that is what will happen there um, these are also some more tomato plants different a different kind i wish i had labeled them never got around to it because the sharpie wants to like wash off all my labels anyway so i'm like not really working haven't prioritized that my bad but over here are spaghetti squash all of these are spaghetti squash and then that's a kajari melon that's a little baby kajari melon and then there's like i think three yeah here that i need to space out some more then we've got corn coming down here and then watermelon kind of in this outside area and i need to get that retrained to go back so that it doesn't come through and choke my corn but this uh this corn down here was from the um from the other area it was in the bed and i transplanted it over so it's gotten a head start over all the others so that's where that's at. You can kind of see, not that one, but that's a little, little corn thing growing. And I need to retrain this guy because we don't want it coming through and choking out the corn either. But yeah, so that's what's going on over here in this garden. Hello, Mr. Spider. Are you hanging out with the calendula? So it seemed like the calendula really loved sitting in a ton of water and I've had a hard time getting them to germinate and like work in the past to like get much more than this. So I'm thinking that water is the key for these guys and a lot of it. Um, so trying to keep those alive, no guarantees because it's been a struggle this year with water. Um, I think the same story is with this. We had a really great rainfall but I'm starting to get yellow leaves and I'm thinking it just is needing some water. Nothing is, as I've said before, because water is such a valuable resource to us because we're collecting rainwater, nothing is getting the amount of water it needs. So things are dying. Um, but unfortunately, that's just the way it's going right now. 
Here's a bunch of cucumbers because like I said, I thought all the other ones on the other side were zucchini and then I had like one cucumber. Nope. So I have a lot more cucumbers than I do zucchini. So I've got those. The basil I think just needs more water. It is not doing well. I also am not thrilled with the pot experience. Um, I loved it being in the ground at our home in Michigan. So from now on, I think I'm just going to plant it in the ground. The same with the dill. Or no, this isn't dill. I think I put dill in here. No, this was dill. Yes, this was dill. Um, as you can see, like I said, all of my like markers have just worn off. So if y'all know a really great gardening marker that is like, like the Sharpies didn't work, but like a, a marker that will withstand rain and water and wear would love to hear. Um, but yes, yeah, so the dill started a couple sprouts and then died off, but like, I can't tell if it's a little bit moist or not. It feels like it might be a little moist. Um, but we did just have a little bit of a sprinkle rainfall. Our potatoes are dying. Again, I'm thinking it's because they're not getting enough water. Um, but yeah, since I've moved them over here, we had a rainfall right after I moved everything over and transplanted. And everything did great. And now things are starting to die. So, yeah, like all of this stuff, this, these were potatoes, these are dead. Um, so... That or um, they just, I mean, this is nowhere near the amount of space it needs in these pots, but it's what we can do, seeing what we can make do with what we've got right now. Um, but yeah, so that died. My carrots never germinated. I've never done well with carrot seeds that are not uh, like the pelleted ones, even when they're spaced, even when they're potted. Actually, as I say that, I am kind of noticing a couple little green sprouts but it's had plenty of water so there should be way more stuff going on there than is currently so I don't know what the deal is with that tons of carrot seeds and then I was gonna transplant and weed them out but yeah asparagus is looking okay pretty good there and let's walk over to the other garden hello Rosanna hello hello Henrietta are you brooding? Are you gonna be a mama? Say so, yes I am. I'm sitting on some eggs. I've been broody for the last week or two now. Is that right? Is that right girl? What you doing over there? Was that loud? Ooh, you not happy with me? Am I in your space? Are you hot? I know. I'll leave you. And this is why we are cutting all of the craziness down. Because lo and behold, they are hiding out here. So we're on day two out here on the homestead and I have been waiting. So I will show you what I did yesterday and what I'm going to try to tackle today. So yay! Here is my little flower bed that only has marigolds in it. It was totally overtaken by weeds though, which I ended up storing there. And I'd like to get some more flowers planted in here. But alas, for now, the marigolds are at least pretty enough. If you can hear that sound in the distance, that's Jonathan down in what we are, have been informed is not a valley around here. It's called a holler because if you're in the holler, you're going to holler. Um, but anyway, he's down in our holler um, on one side of our property. I'm sorry, our land, which is another thing we've been corrected on for how to pronounce things um, or what to say for calling things different things down here. Um, and he is basically getting wood ready to bring up and get seasoned for the winter. All right, y'all, I'm about getting ready to head in, but I did want to show you. I got some headway on weeding this garden, so it's looking a little better, but the rest of it 
has a long way to go still, so. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video and hanging out with me and seeing all of the work that we're doing and the updates to our homestead. I hope you all have a fabulous week ahead of you. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below if you wanna chat. And of course, if you want to stay tuned for future adventures, hit that subscribe button. I will see you in the next video.